It is time to predict the Brazilian Grand Prix. We are back. Welcome to another episode of the Podium Pushers podcast with Justin and Brandon. It is week three of a triple header. The Brazilian Grand Prix is going down. We are going sprint racing in Brazil, and we are here with all of our predictions. Brandon, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. Interlagos, an amazing track. Uh, sprint weekend, which been iffy on sprint weekends in the past but in austin it was a great sprint weekend potentially my favorite one that i've ever seen uh so i'm excited for the sprint this weekend and it's a great track so all good stuff let's get into our own predictions today starting with podium pusher of the weekend i have gone for pierre gasly as my podium pusher of the weekend in brazil he has had success here before. I will never forget his Toro Rosso podium. Every time we come to Brazil, it is fresh in my mind. And Formula One loves to repost that clip 17 times a year. Anyways, the Alpine upgrades seem to be working. Uh, even though Esteban got these upgrades for the first time in Mexico, Pierre Gasly still vastly outperformed Esteban Ocon. And so I'm expecting Pierre Gasly to keep the good vibes rolling in this triple header and have another good weekend in Brazil. My podium push of the weekend, I this is... I know I say this a lot, but this is purely a vibes prediction. Um, I think that Fernando Alonso is going to be my podium pusher of the weekend. He uh, had his 400th Grand Prix in Mexico City, which is incredible. He's the only one to ever do that, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, like nine laps into the race, straight back into the garage, retired. Uh, that one finished in the DNF nut. A good look for Fernando in uh, Grand Prix number 400, but that's okay. My back marker of the weekend, I have gone for Sergio Perez. And you might ask yourself, Justin, how could it get any worse than he had in Mexico? I don't so know. Plus- I think we're about to find out, though. I, I have no confidence in Sergio Perez. Uh, and there are strong rumors going around right now that he is on his way outside of Formula 1. Christian Horner confirmed that Red Bull has been in talks with Franco Colapinto. Now, who's to say if that is for a V-carb seat or if for the actual Red Bull seat? Either way, you gotta figure that means someone is coming for Sergio Perez's seat, whether it is Franco or Liam. And I don't know. At this moment, there's just nothing in me to convince me that Sergio Perez is gonna have a good weekend. And so, to me, he is the logical backmarker choice for this weekend. My backmarker of the weekend, I'm going with Yuki Sonoda. Um, Yuki didn't have a great weekend in Mexico. He is kind of one of those drivers that I was talking about a second ago. It tends to let some bad weekends string together, especially when Yuki is frustrated. I think this past weekend he, in Mexico he is particularly frustrated, probably because he's trying to compete for a Red Bull seat that, you know, nobody's ever really given him a shot at. And Liam is coming in and scoring points and qualifying really well and Yuki's you know crashing out in the first corner so I expect that frustration for Yuki to build a little bit more and that to translate over into his performance um I think one thing that Yuki has kind of missed in his career a little bit is kind of turning that frustration into you know focusing really well putting in in on the task in front of him on the track and Yuki's kind of let that bleed into the way he drives in a negative way as opposed to a positive way throughout his career. So I'm going with Yuki Sonoda. Sprint poll. It is a sprint weekend, so we have got double qualifying, double races. I have gone for Lando Norris on sprint poll this weekend. And I've gone for Charles Leclerc. I think Charles, uh, you know, he missed out on the win uh, in Mexico. Um, and I think he, he has been particularly good in sprint qualifying. And so I'm going with Charles. I think Ferrari looks good right now. Yeah, I'm sure Ferrari will be strong around Brazil. That's probably a great choice. Sprint winner, I've gone for Lando Norris again. I have also gone for Lando Norris. I mean, I think that Lando has got a couple more wins in him this season. I know there's only four races left, but I do think that uh, if Lando is going to kind of eat into this lead, um, anymore or it it kind of has to start this weekend so i'm gonna i'm gonna back him as well in the sprint we also have a grand prix this weekend to predict so on grand prix poll i've gone with charlotte claire and i've gone with carlos Sainz. uh 
again a ferrari heavy weekend man it was just such a feel-good story seeing carlos win in mexico and i really just wanted to have it again so in third place I have gone for Oscar Piastri. He has been a little bit off the pace the past two weekends. Uh, Austin kind of had a rough weekend. Well, you know, it was fine, but was clearly a step behind Lando. And then Mexico was probably Oscar's worst weekend of the year. Uh, broke his Q3 streak and then didn't really recover as well as I thought he would. So he's going to turn it around in Brazil. He's getting back on the podium in P3. Uh, in third place, I've gone with Charles Leclerc. Um, I, I think it'll be... Another good weekend for Ferrari. Uh, I think Charles uh, has got you know, another good podium underneath him. I also expect Charles Leclerc to be on the podium, but I have put him in second place this weekend in Brazil. And I've gone with Lando Norris in second place. It was really tough for me to predict this one, but I'm going with Lando in P2. Well, I put Lando Norris in P1. I think he's going to win and really close down this championship lead. We've learned from our mistakes, all right? We we had gone through a period of time where we wanted to put Max Verstappen back on the podium. We believed in the Red Bull upgrades. We wanted to put Max on the podium. I, I can't do it anymore, okay? His, these predictions have let me down too much, so I've thrown away Max Verstappen from my podium. I'm putting Lando Norris P1, and I'm sticking to it. I have gone with Carlos Sainz. <laughs> to win the uh, Brazilian Grand Prix. I'm I, shocked I by that. Okay, what? it's not like you told us that like three minutes ago. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, I heard that somewhere, but yeah, I just think Carlos is an amazing driver. He deserves a lot. Uh, he's just so sad that he's leaving Ferrari. Man, to just hear him in that interview in Mexico when he was talking about how... You know, it's a weird time to leave Ferrari when, you know, it looks like they might be fighting for a Constructors' Championship in 2025, and he's not going to be there to help him out, and he's just kind of sad about that. And it's like, man, well, I'm kind of sad about that too, Carlos. Yeah, and after I, I saw Carlos' interview in Brazil, immediately I was like, Ferrari 2024 Constructors' Championships, I want it. I want it for Carlos bad. I want him okay. to, to be a champion before he walks out the door of Ferrari. I want it for him bad. Move to our two push and predictions. My first one is that at least one RB driver makes it into Q3 this weekend. Uh, they've had some pretty poor qualifying luck recently. Obviously, I think at least one of them would have been into Q3 this past weekend if Yuki didn't put it in the wall. Yuki was like 11 thousandths out of Q3 in Austin. So I think it's time that an RB driver makes it into Q3. And my second push and prediction is that Lewis Hamilton outperforms George Russell. Who knows what spec that Mercedes is going to be running? Who knows if they even have money to have spare front wings at the Brazilian Grand Prix? But we have seen a consistent trend this weekend or this year where George Russell will outqualify Lewis Hamilton and then Lewis Hamilton has a little bit stronger race pace. But I think Brazil, I think Lewis Hamilton loves this track. He's had a lot of success at this track before. And so I think Lewis Hamilton will comprehensively outperform George Russell this weekend. I mean, it makes sense that Lewis has better Sundays. He, he's Mr. Sunday, George is Mr. Saturday, so makes sense. I, my two push and predictions. First one, you know, looking back on this, it seems pretty bold, my first one. It's kind of crazy, but we're rolling with it. Um, I'm, I'm saying four or more DNFs across both the sprint and the main ground three. I mean, that could be just one turn one incident that could cause four DNFs. But, I mean, I don't know, we've had safety cars the last two races, but then we went like nine Grand Prix without them. So I feel like it could happen either way. But four or more DNFs crushed both Sprint and the main Grand Prix. My second mission prediction is that Ferrari scores the most points over the course of the weekend, again, to get even closer to McLaren uh, in that uh, Constructors Championship battle. So... So you just Maybe. went with like the two extremes. You went with one that is like wild if it happens, and then you went for one that we've seen two weekends in a row. So you're, you're kind of Great. spreading them out. I respect it. I respect the strategy. The fans at PVK underscore 96 says the top four will feature Max, Lando, and the two Ferraris. 
I will not put an order on that. We will let it be vague. If it happens, it happens. And at Mason underscore pilot 126 says Lando Norris will be back on the podium. I think those are some great predictions from the fans. They are. Yeah, that's good. For for uh, the first prediction from the pa- fans from PBK underscore 96, uh, are we saying that is the sprint or are we going to say that the main in the main Grand Prix, or we're going to leave it open. Could happen hey, in We'll leave it even more vague. Uh, we said it was vague in the order. Let's leave it open on which race it is. So we'll give him two chance, two chances to get his point there. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, but thank you so much for watching or listening to another episode of the Podium Pushers podcast. We are so appreciative of each and every person who watches or listens to our content. Before you go, like, comment, leave a review, subscribe, do all the things you know to do, and then follow us elsewhere. Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok. If you're there, we're there too. Go ahead and follow along for everything Formula One this year and beyond. We will see you next week to recap the Brazilian Grand Prix and help you get through an unfortunate another three-week break in Formula One. But we're not going anywhere. We will see you there. God bless. See you.